going on blades here bringing you a quick in-depth guide on the long-range scope for the Mosin. Uh, first we're going to be comparing the pristine scope the accuracy at long distances versus the damage scope which you'll see here in a second I have the right now I have the pristine scope the ACOG the compensator and in my inventory here I have a damaged one so first let's go ahead and try out the pristine scope and what we're going to be aiming for is the top left corner of this second story window firehouse. Um, this point right here is going to be able to tell us how much it pulls to the left, right, up and down. I have already went ahead and measured this out and it is about 480 yards or meters. So let's go ahead and see what it does. I'm going to set it to 500. Alright, as you can see, it's fairly accurate. It does pull to the left just a little bit. Alright, once again, pulls a little bit to the left. Do another shot here. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch out to the damaged scope here. Yeah, one more shot just for fun. Had to empty the clip. Alright, so once we get this reloaded. Alright, so now as you can see we're using the damaged long range scope. Uh, I still have the pristine there in my pants. Um, let's go ahead and see if anything changes when we use the damaged scope. Same distance, same window. Alright, still pulls to the left. Once again, still to the left. And same again. So what we can see here is that the two scopes, even though one is damaged, and one is pristine, they're the same. As you can see there, I lowered it down to 200 just to show how much it drops. We are still using the uh, damage scope. I'm going to turn it up to 800 just to test out the rise and fall. And we've got it zeroed in at different distances. So there you go. No matter what, uh, this may change in future updates, patches, and whatnot, but as of right now, pristine and damaged scope there are no differences there's no cracks on the scopes no difference there as far as visuals go like the red dots or ACOGs or PU scopes um, everything seems to be almost identical so here's a let me show you a little distance shot here as you can see the zombie standing up on sniper hill This is about six and a half, seven hundred meters away. You can see there on the third shot, I finally took him down. Well, guys, I hope this video helps. I uh, hope it clears up a lot of confusion. You guys, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.